I'm Rob LaCuria, Senior Editor at Gold Derby here with Emmy nominee Ingrid Michelson, composer for Tiny Beautiful Things. Um, Ingrid, not only did you compose the beautiful music for this show, but you wrote and recorded a new original song for the series finale, Not Gone, and covered the Indigo Girls close to fine for the series premiere. So I'm curious, how does your experience as a vocalist and songwriter inform how you wanted to approach the composing the score for the series? Well, I was approached by Liz Tigelar, the showrunner, who um, I worked with before, and she's been a fan of my music as a songwriter for years and years. And she asked me to score the show, and I said, I, I looked behind, I was like, me? Yeah, see me? Um, <laughs> I've never done it before. And uh, she said, I want your, I want your essence. I want your, you. Um, and I said, I can try, you know, and I, I teamed up with two great other artists, uh, Juan Ariza and Gabriel Mann. And basically for me, melodies come first anyway, before lyrics. So I would watch a scene and I would sit at my piano and I would just play and play and play and play. And I would have about, you know, 10 voice notes and I would send them to, to Juan and to Gabe and they would sort of sift through things. This was all while I was actually working on my musical in Chicago, I'm writing a musical too. So it was a little hectic. There were some voice notes of me on my ukulele on the stage while people were on their lunch break. Um, it was pretty wild that it all, but the timing was so that I had to I had to multitask. Um, so it I found myself sort of writing words anyway. I just wouldn't I would sort of mumble them and I was like, don't use the words, just the melodies, just the themes. Um, so it 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 was an interesting process for me because I as I said, the melodies always come first and then the words sort of the melodies inform the words, but I, I, I didn't really get a chance to finish. So that's why I was really excited about writing an original song for the piece because I got to actually, you know, have some some words come out to match the melodies that were also coming out. But um, it was uh, it's my first time doing it, and it was kind of magical. It's really really amazing, and the storyline of the show is a, a very close uh, parallel to my life in some ways. So. Um, it was very, to use an overused word, cathartic um, in many ways for me. You know, and I, it's so interesting that the, those of us who listen to the music and watch the series also go through our, our own catharsis. And the, the music is so, um, it's so appropriate for the show. What kind of surprised me was how it, the show is, it, it walks this delicate, fine tonal line between comedy and drama although I shouldn't have been too surprised it's Catherine Hahn you know and she's so good at that so it's profound and then it makes me laugh out loud and so I'm just wondering what you thought of that dynamic when it came time to write the music for it well I shine in moments of sorrow and sadness that's where I'm like dun, dun, dun. um so the 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 moments with levity really it kind of came down to certain instruments that we used. Um, like uh, uh, Juan used this uh, baritone tenor guitar in kind of a plucky way. And it, it's like, obviously the notes he's playing are important, but it's also the intention behind the notes and how he's playing it and the sort of pluckiness. And so we, we, we peppered in those moments where we needed them. Um, but for the most part, I feel like the the meaty, heavy parts of the show that really required score were the more emotional, um, not not always sad, but the more the heavy emotional moments. So um, yeah, that was that was where I really stuck the knife in, <laughs> so to speak. Yeah. So to speak. Um, my favorite track on the album is "Tiny Beautiful Sequence." Um, and for people who don't recall, that starts off with this minimal piano melody. It's overlaid by this evocative string element. And then 
there's this unexpected like strumming percussive guitar that fills out the sound that I think you've alluded to. I love this track. Uh, what inspired the melancholy contemplative sound that I assume you were going for? I wrote that piano theme on a keyboard in Chicago upstairs in a rehearsal space. And I sent it to Juan and to Gabe. And um, basically Gabe kind of was like, I think we need to pull some strings into this. Juan says, you know, I think we need to pull some some guitar into this. And the three of us just meeting of the minds, figure out, piece it together, what goes where. But it was um, it was interesting because we would we would send in some completed songs and our music editor would sort of push them into a diff, a, another scene, possibly, which sometimes worked and sometimes didn't work. And when it didn't work, it just like, it would like itch my skin a little bit. I was like, well, it's beautiful, I get it, but, um, but that's not what I where I wanted that and and so there was a little bit of sort of like some always lovely very gracious push and pull but um each each major chunk theme was definitely um it always started with something I would send to to to, to Gabe and to Juan and they would weave it together with their amazing brains so I cannot take total credit for anything uh for everything I can take some credit for some stuff <laughs> okay that's very humble um yeah. so i i found i found it interesting that years ago when you were really just breaking through as a singer songwriter um your songs were you know featured on various tv shows example grace anatomy most people would remember that and years later you're then nominated at the emmys uh for your song build it up from little fires everywhere um, it's a really nice kind of coming around full circle um, as an artist in the t in the TV space, I should say, really. Uh, what was that like to be nominated for an Emmy? Um, it was very unexpected because I've been doing this for 20 years. <laughs> it's like, uh, I, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know why some people get recognized and some people don't. Um, I mean, obviously, I know why some people get recognized and some don't, but but um, it was like part of me was like, oh, this is I can't believe this is actually happening. And then part of me was like, why hasn't this happened already? Um, just because it's it's you know you work 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 you work, and so to be recognized in that way, um, it it might not make total sense to you, but it was a pretty 50 50 split of like, I can't believe it. And finally, you know what I mean? There was, there was a little denial, like not me, not me. I'm not good enough. No, no, no. And then the other side that um, was, you know, hyping me up. So it was, it was really lovely. And I loved working on that, um, on that show. I love, you know, I got to really sort of delve into those characters and, and craft something, um, pretty special and really specific, which is it's just kind of similar to what I did with with the song for uh, Tiny Beautiful Things. There's just like all these Easter eggs in there that if you know the show, if you've watched the show, um, I wrote it, it's, it's a love letter for for the show, really. Yeah, Not Gone is, is such a great track. I love that. What is it about working with Liz Tiglow that, that inspires this greatness from you, Ingrid? Like, what is that? She called, believes that kind of in me. She believes in me and sometimes that's all you need is somebody who's going to be in the corner, be in your corner and have your back and believe in you. And, you know, when she first asked me about scoring, I was like, I, I don't know what you're talking about. I, I play piano and ukulele and I write music and I, but score and she's like, we can figure it out. I just want you. I want your melodies. And, you know, she, I would have never thought that this was even in, in the realm of possibility for me. To be in this panel with these other humans is like mind blowing to me. So, um, and it's, you know, and I have a great support system, my manager, my family, but like Liz really believed in me and, and, um, and wanted my sound. And, you know, the, the, the Catherine Hans character, you know, she lost, it's all about her dealing with the loss of her mother and, or when she was, uh, you know, younger. And I lost my mom, you know, years ago. And, so I think she wanted that heartbreaking authenticity to come through. So, yeah. Yeah. 
And it really, really does. I'm so glad she did bring you on. That's a beautiful score. Thank you for your time. And good. We're going to bring you back now for the group chat.